gluten and carbohydrate now the reason I'm talking about this this subject today is recent research I've been doing for a lot of neurological diseases it, it brought me to two specific books one is called Molecule of Emotion and one is called Grain Brain both of these books they, they talk about something that makes a lot of sense number one that all these neurological diseases that we see around, like Alzheimer, uh, Parkinson, and MS, most of them related to our diet. And the book that I read about molecular emotion, it was a discovery of that brain also produces insulin. Why is that? Because our brain and nervous system is the biggest consumer of glucose brain converts glucose to energy 80 percent of glucose in the blood first goes to the nervous system so when this conversion of glucose to whatever brain needs uh, as a form of energy when this interferes with uh, there's a lot of these neurological diseases happen so two basic summary that i want you to think about number one if if we have high glucose, like high sugar, we have diabetes. Same thing happens in our brain. We have too much sugar in our system. We create some type of what we call diabetes of the brain. Now, why carbohydrates do that? Because overconsumption, we produce overconsumption or overproduction of insulin, then we interfere with that system. For detail, go to the book and explains it a lot better than me. The second thing I want to talk to you about is gluten. Now, gluten is a protein molecule you find it in grain and a lot of uh, bread product, white bread product, or bread in general. Now, usually when we talk about gluten, we talk, we're thinking about people who have celiac disease. But I have a news for you. Even those of us that we don't have celiac disease, we could this this protein could make us addicted to carbohydrate because it is found in usually in the bread or bread product or type of grain product like pasta and other stuff that have grain in them gluten is made by two molecules one of them is called gliadin now gliadin they find out in the research that it produces a lot of dopamine for those of you that know about this molecule, it's the same molecule that we could get addicted if we get hooked on cocaine, heroin, and all this narcotic. So that's why when sometimes you have bread, you, right now you have pizza, and then you feel more hungry, more, you, you cannot stop at one slice of pizza or one slice of bread because you want more. It's the same mechanism that produces in your brain that it makes you addicted, it makes you want it more. What's happened? Consequently, you're going to have high carbohydrate, and high carbohydrate is equal all the neurological diseases that I just mentioned. So, what I want you to do, I want you to read this book by Dr. David Perlmutter, which is a neurologist, and explains it very well how we need to have good fat in our brain, and we should stay away from high carbohydrate diet and gluten. Now, I don't agree with everything he says in the book. As you know, I'm more into raw vegan uh, type of diet. I'm not against high fat, especially good fat like flaxseed and, uh, and coconut uh, oil, but I'm against a lot of animal fat. So I don't completely agree with him, but I agree with 90% of stuff that he's talking about. Thank you for listening.